This is tyranny, folks. America, see what's happening here. Our Drama and hyperbole at the entrance to the assembly chambers this week, all over a policy created by the Speaker and Senate President, then after pushback from Republicans, shuffled off to a state commission, then after pushback from Republicans, modified again by the House bosses. This week, if you wanted to get into the building, you had to show your vax card or a negative COVID test. But if you wanted to see the actual show in the chamber, you had to show that stuff all over again. Here's the deal. They just quoted a policy that said it's a state house policy. Did you hear him say that? State house policy. Am I in the state house? Yeah. So what's the difference if I go 30 feet that way or I go 30 feet that way or that way? I don't understand. Nobody can understand. The assembly got to only a handful of bills out of the scores that were on the agenda. The Senate session was more orderly, but on their way home after the session, the first of the lame duck period, lawmakers from both parties agreed on one thing. It's nonsense, and you can't make this stuff up. Absolutely insane. Can't understand it. But Assemblyman Caputo, who's lost two staff members to COVID, and Senator Shapizi, who was hit by the virus twice, nonetheless saw the rules quite differently. I went down to do my job. I think the policy is nonsense, but I showed my vaccination card. I had my temperature checked. I showed my ID. I had my mask on. And go up to our caucus room to prepare. It's now an hour later. I go down to go into the Senate chambers, and I get stopped by state police who tell me that I can't enter to do my job unless I redo the whole thing again. And it was just, it was silly. What's the big deal? So you show it twice. It doesn't mean that when somebody's life is at stake, you show it three, four, five times if you have to. So if you showed it once, what's the problem? This is very disappointing because I like a lot of those guys over there and, and women, and I'm surprised that they took that position. It was not a big, it was not a big lift, David, for them to follow those rules. Speaker Coughlin laid into the Republicans who seemed content to have made a point and turned the session on its head. In the midst of this sacrifice, the only thing that was asked of the legislators here today to do was to show that they weren't infected, to care about their colleagues and the people in the chamber. I'm outraged that the, in the midst of this sacrifice, 28 members of the minority caucus could not be bothered to exhibit the common decency and humanity all because they would rather have a couple of minutes on TV news or point to stand for some political theater. I'm more outraged that this is happening in the midst of a new variant of the virus in our, on our shores, and more outraged still that this is happening uh, when we know very little about what will come in the future. Nobody really distinguished themselves this week, but the state police, caught between the sparring parties and the muddled policy, seemed to have gotten the worst of it ending up having to simply step aside. Meanwhile, late today, an assembly spokesman said that next week's committee hearings will all be held remotely. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.